Hello, welcome back to another province in Isan. This one's called Nongbua Lampu. Right, so something bad's happened. Uh, before we could go for lunch, we need to go find a motorcycle garage or some sort of metal workshop because nothing's wrong with Dreamy, thank God. She's, she's running just fine. However, can you see this little metal black thing on the side here that's connected to the seat? Well, it snapped um, and this one, <laughs> it's completely snapped off. The other one is half snapped there's a lot of potholes and uh, construction in this town and I hit a couple of almighty big potholes at quite, quite the speed and these have snapped and you know going from province to province I need these welded on so that I can attach my little side boxes which keep my camera equipment in and all of my charging, all of my electrical equipment basically and then my backpack is full of my clothes uh, because there's no under seat storage so this is a big problem we cannot go from province to province until this is fixed and um, uh, it's completely sheared here then this is actually taking part of dreamy with it you can see that red metal work that's part of dreamy but i mean they've done well to last this long the, the this whole thing the plastic boxes with these railings uh have lasted us now seven months many speed bumps and uh i think the whole thing cost me six thousand baht on Lazada. So they're probably made in China. So anyway, let's see if we can find someone to fix them because uh, yeah, the trip ain't going anywhere until we get it that sorted. And then hopefully, near the mechanic shop, we'll get some lunch. Well, five minutes later, we found a guy. So one of the reasons why Thailand is a traveler's dream, a wet dream, <laughs> is because whenever anything breaks, you can get it fixed. So like even today, I had to replace my broken camera uh, tripod, just the tripod, not the camera. And every town has a camera shop. It's called Big Camera. And the one I went to today was in the big sea and I replaced my tripod. Then Dreamy's broken, five minutes from my hotel. We've got a guy here who is welding it and he seems to know what he's doing. He's burning stuff, the, the racks are on fire and um, he's welding it and smashing it with hammers. And even just along this street, you know, right next door to here is a man who will repair your old TV. No need to go buy a new TV. Just take it here and he'll repair it for you. And then, you know, there's a guy as well sewing, fixing people's trousers. Like everything is fixable in Thailand. There's no need to buy something new. Even if it's an old banger motorbike or an old TV or a pair of trousers that you've ripped. In Thailand, you can get anything fixed and I love it. I don't know what I've ordered, okay? But I looked at what the locals were eating behind me and they had a bowl of interesting looking soup. <laughs> and so I've asked for one because it seems to be the speciality of this restaurant. And I'm sorry, I don't know what the name of this is, but it's a pork noodle soup. And let me explain how she made it. She quickly blanched the noodles in hot water just for a few minutes 
and she also boiled the pork as well. Uh, she, bo she boiled the pork for a bit longer than the noodles. She put some pak choy and some kale and some uh, morning glory in there as well. And then she made like a little uh, like sauce using brown sugar, white sugar, dried chilies, dried garlic, and then some sort of paste. And then I couldn't figure out what the paste was. Uh, anyway, she mixed that all up and then she added this dark brown, quite sandy texture sauce. Like you can see it's quite bitty. And uh, that transformed it to this dark brown color. I'm thinking that it's blood because the color of this is crazy. It looks exactly like chicken blood. Maybe it's black pudding, like pork blood. I don't know, but I think it's blood. Um, it doesn't smell too bad and she didn't put too much spice in it, so that's good. I've also ordered a Thai omelette because I'm scared and I don't want to be rude and not eat anything and I'm hungry. So if this turns out to be not my thing, I can kind of hide it with the omelette is what I'm thinking. <laughs> By the way, like ordering this kind of food is not something that, you know, I, I would rather just go get fried rice, but it, I want to experience Isan and I want to show you the food here in Isan as well. So smash like, because I didn't want to order this. You know, this is scary, but I'm going to try it and it might be really nice and it might be not. So before I order this, smash like. Thank you. <laughs> Recently, in the province of Loi, I had that samtam with the raw crab and the fermented fish, and that put me off, like, trying new things. Oh. No. So I've really got to get back on the boat. So here we are. We've got some pork, some morning glory, some of the sauce <clears throat> and I'll come back in for some of the noodles. It doesn't smell bad, it smells good. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. It looks, it looks weird, right? But it tastes really good. It tastes so meaty and juicy. A little bit of spice. And it's, um, yeah, I mean, let's get some of these noodles on the go. I'm so glad that I like this. I'm so happy. Yes, 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 yes. Let's try one of these pork balls. A little bit of pork on there. A little bit of vegetables on there. Happy days. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It doesn't taste what it looks like. I promise you. I mean, it looks it looks like something you'd eat on Halloween. <laughs> but it is delicious. Hello, I'm Mac. Woo. And do you know what? If you get some of this olive, olive? <laughs> If you get some of this omelette with a little bit of the white rice, right, and dip it in the sauce, oh, winner. Right, so what's happened is I went up to the viewpoint overlooking the town in the intro, do you remember? And I saw the stadium and I thought to myself, oh, I'll just check online, see if there's a, you know, a football team. And there is, there's a team, Nong Bua FC, and they play in pink and they're playing tonight. <laughs> I paid a hundred baht for a ticket 
Now you have to show your vaccine certificate to get in. If you don't have a vaccine, you have to take a PCR test and there's loads of people just taking them by themselves. Sticking stuff up their nose and then showing that they don't have COVID to get a ticket. Everybody's outside drinking beers with their family. They've all got cases of Singer and picnic baskets and they're eating barbecue. It looks quite fun. It'd be just fun to watch the football, so I'll take you along and I'll show you what it's like. What, what province is BG? What province? No, province. What province? Oh, Batum Thani. Batum Thani. Batum. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Near Bangkok. Near Bangkok. Okay, yeah. cool. Good luck. You too. I, I support Nong Bua. Really? Oh, okay. 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 What's your name? My name is Paddy. Paddy. Ah, nice to meet you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And you got barbecue here. Some <laughs> tum. BJ! BJ! Everybody loves a BJ! There's good atmosphere over here. This is where the away end are drinking and partying. And uh, it is a bit of an atmosphere. But I'm gonna go in the stadium now because the game's gonna start in 15 minutes. This is always my favourite part of any football game. Win or lose, it's just walking out into the stadium for the first time and you feel the atmosphere. So let's feel if there's any atmosphere. People have got beer and Samsung, which is really cool, and I don't have any cash. just scored unfortunately but I have a beer now because I remembered I had loads of coins in my back pocket 80 baht for a big one cheers <laughs>
So yeah, that was a good game. Fun, good atmosphere actually. Th that was packed and uh, was really, really, really good standard of football, I must say. 3-1 and lots of singing, lots of cheering. I think I'm gonna like Isan. We've done two provinces already and we've had some good times. And we've got 18 provinces left to go. The next province will be Udon Thani for Loi Kratong. So see you there. Bye.